Hi guys, it's SDJR SNF88 speaking. We're a review of the GWR 4200 class from Hornby. Originally introduced into the 2012 range, Hornby's 4200 class, along with the 5200 and 7200, have always been popular models, though the original releases featured a number of clever design features, which in some cases let down the overall look of the model. Hornby have listened to such criticism and have updated a number of features on the 2014 releases onwards, including separately fitted smokebox dart and brass bearings. Designed by George Churchward, the 4200s were developed for the increasing coal traffic over the sharp and steep gradients in South Wales. The first member of the class entered service in 1910 and proved more than capable, making it the first 280 tank engine in Britain. Over 100 locomotives were built between 1910 and 1923, though a number of these were later converted and upgraded to the 5200 class or the larger 282-7200 class. All but one member of the class passed into British Railways ownership in 1948 and by the end of steam on the Western Region in 1965, 18 members were still in action, with the last being withdrawn in August 1965. Five members of the class have been preserved. Currently, two versions of the 4200 are available, R3462 in BR Early Black and this sample R3223 in BR Late Livery. Versions of the 5200 and 7200 are also available. As can be clearly seen on the box, I got this model for an absolute bargain price of £73 from the Hornby Outlet Centre Swindon. The model comes in the standard sleeve and ice cube packaging. Inside is a small detailing pack featuring a number of parts for you to fit, including brake rigging, back pipes, front steps and front NEM coupling. Once out of the outer packaging, we can see the model in more detail, with Hornby capturing the prototype very well. The model throughout features a good level of detail, including separately fitted smokebox dart, pre-fitted cylinder drain cocks, lamp irons, metal buffers, finely applied handrails, detailed cab interior, rivet detail and well represented underframe. One point to note is the front running plates on some models have been found to be twisted or pointed skywards, though there are a number of simple fixes to sort this issue. Luckily, on this sample, it is straight and level. The livery is also finished to a good standard, with neatly applied BR Lake Crest, smoke box and cab side number plates, perfectly legible shed code, and route classification. Performance straight from the box is superb, with the 4200 running smoothly and quietly in both directions, thanks to its powerful 5-pole motor. The low gearing also provides a realistic range of running speeds, which well represent that of the real class. The model also makes no hesitation over point work, even while at a crawl. All in all, the 4200 is a great little model, especially with a few tweaks that have been made since the first release. 
With a good level of detail, smart livery and excellent performance, this is a must for any Western Region modeler, especially for this sort of price. This has been SDJR Synap88 speaking and thanks for watching.